triangle that doesn't have a rectangle behind it. Well, I can use my grid lines to draw my own rectangle around my triangle. Then I can work out what the length is, 10 centimetres, and what the height is, 5 centimetres. And I can use my formula, the area of a triangle equals half the area of a rectangle half 10 times 5 which equals half of 50 and I know that half of 50 equals 25 so the area of my triangle comes to 25 centimeters squared after I've practiced drawing my rectangle a few times I won't need to draw it, I'll just need to count the height and the base of my triangle and remember that I need to cut that in half after I've calculated the area of my rectangle. Now what happens if I have an isosceles triangle instead of my right angle triangle? Well I can use my rectangle again. This rectangle has a base of 3 centimetres and a height of 4 centimetres. Now it's a bit harder to see if these two spaces are half of the rectangle. So I've got another triangle and I'm going to manipulate my quarters and see if we can make a hole using two parts of my rectangle. So there's one part and here is the other. Now we can see here that the leftover parts of my rectangle equal the same amount as my triangle. So I still know that this triangle is half of this rectangle. So I can use the same formula. Again, the area of a triangle is half the area of a rectangle. In this case, half of three times 4, which is half of 12. And I know that half of 12 is 6 centimetres squared. So the area of this triangle is 6 centimetres squared. So my formula works for right angled triangles and isosceles triangles.